Hello there, this is Dr. Nidhi Gupta, a consultant in acute and general medicine. I'm going to go through the current and the new 2020 exam protocol. There are a lot of people who are worried about the 2020 exam and I'll go through in this video how the carousels will be changing and answer some of the questions that I've seen online from worried doctors. The first thing to say though is that the 2019 Paces carousel has not changed. Here you can see the 2020 carousel which does not look that dissimilar to the current carousel but before I go into depth into the 2020 carousel it's worthwhile just going through the current carousel so you can see how it's changed but also for those of you who are taking the exam this year to make sure you understand what to expect. So here's the current format. Doctors start at any one of these five stations, but I'll start with station one, which is respiratory and abdominal. And these are 10 minutes each, and they are a focused specific examination, so respiratory and abdominal, um, with uh, six minutes for the examination, up to two minutes for the presentation, and then two minutes for the discussion with the patient's examiners. The next station is in, is in its completion 20 minutes long. You've got 14 minutes for the history, one minute for reflection and to think about what's happened, and then five minutes for presentation and discussion with the exam. And this is one of the stations that will be changing for 2020. Next is the cardiology and neurology examinations for station three. And the format will not be changing for 2020. These are in total 10 minutes each uh, with the system focused examination for six minutes, um, then two minutes for presentation, and two minutes for discussion with the examiners. The next station is communication skills and ethics, which will be changing for 2020. But for this year, 2019, um, they are 20 minutes long with 14 minutes to explain to a patient surrogate, normally an actor, um, the kind of scenario. And then you have one minute for reflection to think about what's happened, and then five minutes for presentation and discussion with the examiners. Finally, station five, uh, which are made up of two brief clinical uh, consultation scenarios, each 10 minutes, uh, with eight minutes for a focused history, examination, and explanation. And then you have two minutes of discussion with the examiners. And this will be changing in 2020. And so on that note, let's go to 2020 which has changed in terms of the order of the stations and specifically the history, communications and brief clinical consultation stations. Now, the reason for the change was that it was found that, for example, presenting what happened in the communication school station didn't really add an awful lot to the observation of the actual consultation. Um, in addition for the history station, the current format of 14 minutes without any clinical examination is very unlike daily practice and hence it was felt to not reflect what doctors are actually doing. So as such, it, the history um, has been combined with the old station five for the brief clinical consultation uh, because the old station five, the current for 2019, is felt to be too short and not allow enough discussion with the examiners. If we look at the new clinical consultation station, we can see it will be 20 minutes, which will allow 14 minutes for a good history and focused examination uh, with explanation and addressing of patient concerns, then a minute's worth of reflection, and then a five minute discussion with the examiners. If we look again at the 2020 carousel, you'll find an abdominal neurology, cardiology uh, stations, these have remained the same, along with respiratory, and these will not be changing in their format. So the communication skills, which I've already talked about, um, the presentation wasn't found to add much. These are now going to be two 10 minute stations, and there'll be no presentation, um, and you'll only have an observation by the examiners. As you can see, when we compare the current format and the 2020 MRCP PACES format, not a huge amount has changed from the point of view of your revision and nothing has changed in the curriculum. The primary changes are related to the time you have for the non-system based stations. 
And with the communication school stations, there'll be no opportunities to address anything you missed during the consultation. And hence your practice of communication skills and ethics is even more important. The key points to remember is that if your exam's in 2019, you don't need to be concerned about the 2020 format. But that if you're applying for the exam in August, you should revise based upon the 2020, the 2020 exam. And watch out in this, our YouTube channel, for updating videos to give you a step-by-step -step guidance on how you should approach the newly formatted stations. Otherwise, good luck in your paces and take care.